morning, everybody. I just thought it would be good to have a bit of a roundup of the first half term and some of the amazing things that have been happening during the last few weeks. Um, we've had some new staff start with us. So here at Aspley Lane, um, Matt Turton has started as principal here. Over at Leesbrook, Claire Watson, as you know, has started there. And at Wood Bluecoat Woolerton, Phil Rosen has started. So it's been a really um, exciting beginning with uh, lots of new leaders getting to know their school communities. Um, in addition to that, we've got a new director of safeguarding, Sarah Bloomer, who I know lots of people have been getting to know over the last few weeks. Sarah has been in, involved in lots of uh, intensive safeguarding training and we're really looking forward to the work that she's going to be doing for us across the Trust to make sure that we're more than just compliant but actually that we all enjoy a culture of safeguarding and that we're able to keep our children safe and happy. Um, many of us were able to go to Derby Arena um, a couple of Mondays ago and experience our incredible festival of learning um, and thank you to everybody that was involved in that and the presenters um, and speakers that came from our school community and those of you that helped facilitate some of the um, group work in the breakout spaces. Um, a special thank you obviously to Dave for pulling that day together, uh, but I don't know about you, I found all of the speakers incredibly thought-provoking, inspirational, and it was just a wonderful, wonderful occasion to bring the whole of our community together um, and to be able to meet one another and actually spend some time together. So it was lovely to see everybody together um, and to really share and celebrate the good things that we do and think about how we're going to move forward with all of our teams involved in that completely. Um, that happened on the Monday and then straight on its heels on the Wednesday we had the Empower East Midlands Careers event, which was just a, a lovely, lovely event at the Albert Hall. A huge thank you to everybody involved in organising that and for those of you that came and supported children. A special thank you to Helen, who obviously put that day together uh, and brought in all of the local employers. Um, I was able to spend a, an hour or so there and it was just brilliant to see our young people who were really engaged and motivated um, and behaved absolutely impeccably and some of the feedback I know going back into schools has been really really positive and the feedback from the providers was also incredibly positive about how um, motivated the, the students were. In fact at our recent Ofsted inspection one of the students happily told the Ofsted inspector that they'd gone to that event and ended up signing up for the Navy as a consequence so that was really lovely uh, information to get. Um, we've also had our leadership conference in the last week or so um, and that involved all of the principals in the trust alongside our trustees and our AAB chairs um, and a couple of our members attended that, uh, talking really about how um, we're leading the organisation going forward, the direction of travel, um, some of the issues that we're going to be facing over the next few months and weeks. Um, for example, this winter, some of our plans to help families and support our local community getting through the cost of living crisis. And we were able to engage with some national leaders in really challenging ourselves about whether we're heading in the right direction. So we were able to talk to Leora Crudus, who came and spoke to us about governance and um, the most recent white paper that's been published by the DfE and really to help us to read the, the landscape ahead in terms of where the direction of travel for the education uh, Department of Education is really going. So it was um, a really positive time where we were able to reflect on what we'd achieved and look forward to the work that we're going to be undertaking this year. I've got another new person to introduce you to today as well. So Stuart Bird is our new Chief Finance Officer and he started um, work this week 
Um, and we say a goodbye and thank you to Liz Rodriguez, who's gone back into industry, which is the area that she came from. So Stuart's got vast experience of working with the NHS, and we're really excited about what he's going to be doing for us here at Archway. And finally, this term was completed spectacularly with our Ofsted inspection over at Bluecoat Beachdale, which happened in the last week before the um, Nottingham schools went on their half term holiday. Um, although that report hasn't yet been public, uh, been made public and publicised, um, suffice it to say, we were pleased with the feedback and it was a really, really positive experience and an enormous congratulations and well done to the whole of the um, staff community at Bluecoat Beachdale and, and the leadership um, who steered it so magnificently through that whole process. So a brief roundup, lots and lots have happened in the last few weeks, just to give you a little bit of a flavour of some of the things that have been going on in Archway Learning Trust.